Hello, welcome to Columbus, Ohio. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. So guys, I'm like so over the moon stoked. Uh, my first set of large bisque tiles finally came in from Europe. These are so hard to come by. I finally found some through Blick. I got them in six, eight, and 10 inches. And these are just the smallest, the six inches, but oh my gosh, are they a joy to paint on. Holy moly, I am loving this. The reason I like these tiles so much is because the paint, because the tiles are so porous, the paint sort of gets locked down in place very quickly and very easily, which if you live in a, a home that's almost 100 years old like I do, where everything is wonky and uneven and nothing is level no matter how hard you try, this is like a dream come true because the leveling of my floors or lack thereof does not affect these tiles nearly as much as it does a wood or canvas canvas does that make sense so i have a lot better luck painting on these guys than i do anything else because the paint stays put where it's supposed to yay so i just made like a really cool beautiful tile and I love the color so much I decided I'm gonna do another very similar to it so let's just start laying down the colors, shall we I'm gonna start with one of my most favorite colors of all time it's Payne's gray by Arteza Arteza in my opinion makes the single most beautiful Payne's gray for my liking at least. It's got a lot more of the Prussian blue in it than many of the other brands. And you know, what's strange to me is whenever I blow this out with the blow dryer, not only will I see the blue, but I will see a distinct charcoal gray color pop through also which is just super cool. I, I don't know how Arteza does this paint, but it is like magic in a bottle to me. So moving on, moving on, I am going to grab, I'm clearly very enthusiastic about what's happening here, grabbing my Amsterdam neutral gray. I've called this dove gray more times than I can count, but this is actually called neutral gray. And it is a beautiful, contemporary, soft gray color, very much like a dove gray. That would have been a very appropriate name for it. Next, I'm going to use a color called Parchment. This is by Liquitex. I also really like Titanium Buff by um, Amsterdam, but I'm out of it. And um, I like these colors because Although you don't really see them per se, they build a lot of dimension into the pearl cells. And I'm working on a pearl base, wanting lots of pearl cells. So next I'm going to use a little bit of Prussian blue, which is very similar, but still different from the Payne's Gray. It's distinctly more blue. No question about that. I'm intentionally getting more paint on this tile than I did my last one, if, you're, if you watched my last one. Okay, next, Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. Quickly becoming one of my favorite colors. I don't know why I was so afraid of this color for so long, but I definitely was, and I, it, there was no reason to be. It is a fabulous, fabulous color, although I think I just put way too much of it down. I'm gonna go on to Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. I'm building layers of blue paint. And then I'm going to add an odd one in here. I'm going to add in a little bit of this iridescent copper by Pebio. 
this is another one of my all-time favorite paints. It just shimmers and shines like no other. It's really a beauty. And it looks especially good with the darker shades of blue. Okay, my paint is slipping. Let's see. hate how unlevel this house is. Darn it. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of this color I made and I'm calling Parakeet Green. It is simply Amsterdam Olive Light Hue mixed with some Artist Loft White. And that's all there is to that. Then I'm going to come back in with a little bit more Payne's Gray. A twinge more of the neutral gray and a little bit more of the Prussian blue I'm a little tempted to put in a little Naples yellow but I think I'm gonna just leave it alone okay so now I'm gonna grab my cell activator excuse my reach and I'm just gonna pour some down into the center, creating a puddle. And this is Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I'm gonna need a good sized puddle so it can cover the entire tile. And now it's time to grab my blow dryer on cool setting and blow this puppy out. I'm using the low setting this time, hoping to have a little bit more control over the paint. grab a toothpick. I'm gonna need one. Sorry doggies, didn't mean to startle you awake. And I'm gonna use these toothpicks to kind of entice these pearl cells to come out and play. All I'm doing is gently scratching the bottom of the tile with the toothpick, sorry, I blanked out there for a second. And it is breaking the surface tension enough to allow the paint to pop through the cell activator and give these beautiful, beautiful pearl cells. just wanting to come out all by themselves. I mean, if I left this alone, these would continue to develop on their own heading towards the center. I am just kind of speeding the process along and controlling it a little bit better this way. This way I'm able to kind of dictate where those cells end up. So I'm just kind of going round in a circle breaking the surface tension eliciting these pearl cells to come forward and show themselves wow
What a fun tile for my black hole series. I wish the very first one I had made had come out. It was so perfect, but I had accidentally hit it with my Dagon blow dryer and made a horrible gouge that was just irreparable, unfortunately. Boy, guys, this sure is going to be beautiful. I think the activator in the center is just too thick. Definitely got a little bit too much on here in my excitement over these giant new tiles. Okay, I think that's as much as I'm going to get out of there. Let me take you guys in for a closer look at what's going on. Wowzers, wowzers. Focus, focus, focus phone. Check this out. Is this not cool or is this not cool? Look at those gorgeous, bright, juicy pearl cells. I mean, holy cow. The colors just look to be glowing from within. I'm not so sure how that parakeet color became so neon looking. That's the only thing I'm not real fond of. I wish it had stayed more true to its original color, but oh my gosh, is this not a cool tile? It looks like some ancient piece pulled out of the ground. I just love it. It kind of re almost reminds me of Millie Fiori glass. What a cool piece. I had so much fun making this. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. I have so much fun doing it. This kind of art is just like therapy to me. I love the surprise in every single piece. No matter how much you plan, you never really know what you're gonna end up with. And that aspect of this art form is so thrilling to me. I just can't get enough of it. And being able to share it with you guys is like everything to me. So please, if you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. Happy painting, y'all. Bye.